The conversation that comes away on Sendian's VIP magazine, VIP TV. <laughs> Greetings to the Gambian people, greetings to the African people. Today marks another fresh edition of the program, The Conversation, that comes away on Sendian's VIP magazine, VIP TV, here in the Republic of the Gambia. And I remain Tony Mikhail Howard, taxed with the responsibility of inspiring and motivating the current generation of young Africans in the actualization of their respective dreams and preaching the message of peace and national unity, as well as revitalizing the Africanization policy that speaks about good governance, social justice, democracy, human rights, and most importantly, the African unity. For today's edition, we are honored and privileged to speak to a Nigerian veteran educationalist. He is Dr. Olale Kombaj, all the way here from all Nigeria, as he finds himself on the conversation today with St. BNV IP Magazine, the IP TV. He has spent close to 25 years, if not a little above 25 years, in the Nigerian educational system with a bachelor's degree in economics, a master's in uh, educational management, with PhD in the same discipline, educational management. We'll speak to him right now. Greetings, Dr. Bash. Yeah, greetings. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Happy to be on this platform this morning. Yeah. And I'm, I'm very grateful. Yeah, we are honored and privileged to have you on the conversation live here in the Gambia, sir. Yes, you are welcome. Okay. About, it's my pleasure. Yeah, thank you. By the way, um, a lot of young people are seated under the sound of your voice who for such enviable height in your educational ladder. Can you tell our diverse audience who is Dr. Bash from her early life to professional and academic life, sir? Well, um, Dr. Bash uh, um, started his career. Um, he's a son to a military man uh, in the military barrack. Okay. And he started his primary school career from 1987, uh, 82, Army Children's School, mm. then uh, move on to my secondary school. Mm. And then uh, from the barrack uh, background, mm. you know, you have to be very strong, resolute, with a strong mind. Mm. But I just discovered that uh, I need God in my life, mm. that with God on my side, I can continue. My first aim was to become a military man myself. Mm. And I tried, and uh, my father was in uh, Liberia, tried to fight for peace over there. Wow. And uh, when he heard that, he was not happy. He wanted me to go to school. Okay. And he said, no, you can't. I'm a soldier. You can't be a soldier. Mm. Uh, you have to go to school. Mm. Even when I was, I was one of the three people that were picked mm. to join the Nigerian, uh, Nigerian Academy. Okay. He, he disagreed and he taught the certificate. He said, no way, I have to go, go to school. Mm. So that's how I started. And then um, I started, it was like I was being kidnapped just to go to school. Mm. And when I got the voice that yes, schooling is your, is your destiny. Mm. So I started pursuing the career. And I started ICANN, mm. the ICANN program, one of the best out of 25,000 people. Mm. That was in 1996. Mm. And I continue. I just find myself, okay, I can go to the university. Mm. And then my father was late, mm. all alone. I start, started pushing my career. Mm. And we got on my side. Mm. I had my first degree. Mm. And I continue. Yes, yeah, sorry. So I, I didn't give up. Mm. So I we got on my side. And then I continue. So I continue even, I was doing some mini job mm. to just sponsor myself mm. and sponsor my other uh, younger ones. Mm. So we're just managing, uh, you know, from a small family. Mm. And with God on my side, I was able to uh, have my first degree, mm. got a job, mm. then I proceeded to the University of, of Ibadan. Mm. That's the best university in Nigeria. Mm. That's where I got my master's degree. Mm. And I also continue mm. with the job I was doing. Mm. Education was key. Mm. I have to continue because I that was where I got the the feeling that 
I am a teacher. Mm. So I, I continue in the teaching profession, mm. what a noble profession he has been. Mm. So I continue as a principal of a school. Mm. So I, I continue, then at the end, I got my doctorate degree from the University of Adoikiti. Mm. And then it has been fantastic working with so many schools uh, in Nigeria from this crash, from bringing, bringing the head teacher of a nursery school mm. to director of a tutorial center to the head of school of a secondary school mm. and, you know, to a principal of different schools mm. with British mm. and Cambridge background. Mm. Then uh, presently I'm working with uh, Kele British International School mm. uh, in Lekki mm. and the school has different campuses. We have the primary school, we have the business school, we have the college, mm. where then we have the British school mm. and we have the university. Mm. I have my feet in all of these five schools mm. as I speak this very morning mm. and I'm also the principal of the A-level college as well mm -hmm. so you know it has been great it has been great that uh, my father gave me that insight that, that you are not a soldier mm -hmm. you should go to school mm -hmm. so uh, but all this it has been because of god's grace upon my life mm -hmm. and uh, very sorry if i want to say this mm -hmm. uh, from my when i was born i was born deaf could not hear very well mm -hmm. and uh, from a muslim background mm -hmm not hear very well. In 1985, my father took in Jesus' name we pray, was in that crusade ground. Okay. And in my ear. Yes, your life, sir. You can continue. Sir. It got open. That's what I, gave. Uh, I gave my life to God, and mm -hmm. God has. Yes, uh, I gave my life to God, and God has been directing the affairs of my life till this very morning. Mm -hmm. And from that, that time onward, I said, I will live my life according to God's direction. Mm. So, all what I've achieved today, mm. it can be attributed to the direction from the Almighty God. Mm. So, it's God that has been helping me and He's helping me till this very morning. Mm. And I'm so grateful to Him and I promise Him that I will serve Him till I leave this planet Earth. Mm. So, He has been a fantastic career mm. and I'm also lecturing. I'm a visiting lecture, lecturer to um, the Abefemi Abolowo University here in Nigeria. Mm. And I also consult for schools. Mm. I train teachers mm. locally and internationally. Mm. And, uh, you know, I presently am a student at the Atlantic International University in America. Mm. Um, moving on. Not to interrupt you, sir. You've, 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 you've had a bachelor's, you've had a master's, you had a PhD, and you are currently studying in the U.S. Yes. Distance education. What are you studying? Yes. yes, it's higher education management. Okay. Because I want to, I want to work in the U, in the university. I want to become a dean of a faculty. Okay. I want to become a director. Mm -hmm in the university and a vice chancellor. Mm. So that is the essence that with, with my post doctorate degree, mm. then I have the chance of uh, m management in any university I find myself. Mm. That's, that's, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful Dr. Bash order with you from the Federal Republic of Nigeria. You heard his profile and uh, the kind of ladder he has climbed so high, very, very um, immeasurable, so huge. And uh, those that are viewing us from uh, East Africa will say, Jumbo, Jumbo, Rabadi Yako, Kung Fu, Tanya Yozangu, Kung Fu, Tanya Yozangu, Nakupenda Pia, East Africa, Nakupenda Pia, Useba Heshima, Kora Africa. To those from Liberia, we say, Kumani, Vika, Kolekala, of course, to the Mendes in Free Town, to Yolan, Zero, Bua, Kaungi, Na, Kaungi, Na, Kaungi, Na, Kaungi, Na, Kaungi, Na, Kaungi, Na, the Aku speaking people of course say uh on even though it's not afternoon time, that's how far I can say it to them. I think I see it in Gambia will say to you uh it's um is um have any other so kuna call the look of any other family care to the wall of the Nagadef, Nakasubasi, of course, to the full as we say uh Wale Jan Masud Nalaga jam turn to you all and we say congratulations to Dr. Bash for climbing such a huge height. Quickly to you, sir. Um you have won multiple yes, awards sir. in the area of education and you come from a country of close to 200 million people if not a little above that uh where did that zest come from because yes. it's not easy to have won all of those awards in the area of education where did the zest come from uh, yeah well um from the 
on set, I'm a, I'm a passionate kind of person. Mm. And uh, passion for youth development, mm. passion for even in the church. Mm. I work with the youth arm of the church. Mm. So that passion. Mm. And when I discover my true calling, mm. that I'm a teacher, mm. passion for young children, mm. Uh, to make young children to grow mm. ac academically. Mm. So that is where it came from. Mm. And in everywhere I find myself, I try to make a mark. Mm. I don't just pass through them. Mm. I leave an indelible mark mm. everywhere I go. Mm. So that is the essence of the award. Mm. And uh, because of my research, uh, I'm a research um, um, kind of person, mm. I go into research everywhere I find myself, even in secondary school, mm. uh, is due to my research ability. Mm. Discover there are various awards that we can win, mm. even as a school. Mm. And uh, the first school I work with, where I won various um, awards in the school, mm. is at secondary school level. Mm. In fact, in 2015, mm. we were 38 schools mm. that applied for the award mm. in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And um, I, as I speak, mm -hmm. we are the only school in Lagos State. Mm -hmm. Four schools won the award. Mm -hmm. We are the only school in Lagos State that won the award. Mm -hmm. And um, that is International School Award mm -hmm. 2015 mm -hmm. to 2018. Mm -hmm. It didn't stop there. Mm -hmm. I have to continue in 2017. Mm -hmm. uh, I was the best head of school to mm -hmm. produce top in Nigeria mm -hmm. certificate in IGCSC French mm -hmm. as a foreign language. Mm -hmm. So because of the, the passion for the children, I just have to support them mm -hmm. to greater achievement in their academic uh, pursuit. Mm -hmm. So we have best French mm -hmm. in the whole of Nigeria. The school with the best, the highest score mm -hmm. in French foreign exam. Mm -hmm. And I was given an award as the head of school mm -hmm. that produces such an outstanding performance. Mm -hmm. It didn't stop there. Mm -hmm. I continued in 2019, yeah. started again, International School Award, the same school. Mm -hmm. We won it again for the second time. Mm -hmm. And as the international uh, coordinator, mm -hmm. we won the award for the second time, 2020 mm -hmm. to 2022. Mm -hmm. And this award is, is, is a school activity based award mm -hmm. is, is an award where the school we carry out seven projects mm -hmm. and those projects you work with international schools so we work with school in uk mm -hmm. we work with school in india mm -hmm. in fact sunshine school mm -hmm. Mohindra, the mm -hmm. head of the school uh, a, a fantastic uh, administrator so i work with her mm -hmm. then we're able to collaborate you know this 21st century okay. and uh, if you are working in a school and uh, you are void of the 21st century skills mm -hmm. then yeah. there'll be a problem yeah, yeah, in so we work with this yeah we work with this uh, 21st century skills collaboration mm -hmm. communication creativity so that the you know we can be abreast of what the world is really asking for mm -hmm. so we so you work in, uh, you know, in collaboration with Indian school, mm -hmm. with schools in UK. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, out of 49 points, mm -hmm. we're able to amass 48 mm -hmm. out of 49 points. Mm -hmm. So we won the award again for the second time. Mm -hmm. Then uh, having worked for the school for over 12 years, mm -hmm. I told them, okay, I want to rest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to take a, a, a rest. So I left them. Mm -hmm. And if you if you discover last year yes. when I was discussing you no know, with you, yes. I have left them. I wanted a greater challenge, mm -hmm. and that was how I got the Kele British International School. Yeah. So yes. I went there. We started again mm -hmm. for six months. We won various awards. Mm -hmm. Six months. Mm -hmm. We won best school, best school in Lagos State. We won the excellent award. Mm -hmm in Lagos State. Uh, we also won the best school in Nigeria, Diamond Challenge, mm. January this year. Mm. Then we also won the the David Shepard Award mm. it just this month. Mm. David Shepard Award in the UK. Mm. Uh, it's um, precisely 12th March of this, this very month. Mm. So we won the 
their world and you know because of my feet mm -hmm. assisting young people to win award and winning award for myself mm -hmm. i was also nominated for i was nominated for the for the um, inspirational addiction award for this year wow. and i'm trusting god i will win that award again yeah, so just because it's part of the as a lecturer if you are not winning an award yes. then you are becoming a you are not moving forward mm -hmm. so we have to move forward you have to do researches and make sure you win as many awards as you can and you can you also have to impact life mm -hmm. if, if you are not an influential person, you, you are not impacting life, you are not moving uh, the institution where you are working forward, mm. then you are not relevant in that place. Mm. Yes. So that's, that is the essence. Mm. And moving on with the, with the, the 21st century approach, mm. I think one has to be win award. Secondary education has gone beyond teaching in the classroom. Mm. It has gone beyond that. Mm. Yes, you teach very well in the classroom. Students are able to pass their national exams, international exams. It has gone beyond that. Okay. What have you done outside the classroom? Mm -hmm. More of the knowledge, they are outside the classroom. Mm -hmm. More of the achievement are outside the, the classroom. Mm -hmm. So what have you done as a teacher? What have you done as a principal mm -hmm. outside the classroom? Mm -hmm. We go a long way to tell how efficient and productive mm -hmm. you can be as a manager. That's so that's what I'm, even as, I, as I'm speaking with you now, yeah. I'm, I'm still working on a lot of award mm -hmm. this year. I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to be in US in next month. Mm -hmm. And in June, I'm supposed to be in Germany. Mm -hmm. But because the, the pandemic in place now, yeah. I think one has to suspend that. Yeah, that's and true. my my travel, therefore, awards, awards, awards. Wow. So I, I pray God will solve this pandemic problem in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That's the voice of a Dr. Bansh. You listen to two men and strange but beautiful stories. He's told about uh, his educational life and multiple awards he's won in Nigeria and in fact outside of all Nigeria. And uh, those that are viewing us on our social media page, this is an opportunity for you to share this conversation and share the Symbians VIP magazine, VIP TV, so that other people can have an opportunity to be able to drink from this fountain of knowledge as he stays in Nigeria and he's featured on our conversation here on Sendians VIP Magazine, VIP uh, TV. And I remain Tony Mikhail Howard, who is taxed with this responsibility. Quickly to you, sir. Uh, Nigeria has remained a very huge nation between and amongst the rest of the nations of the continent of Africa in terms of her immense contribution. But of uh, recent, she has struggled and continues to struggle as a country to, 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 to unite her own people. You have this ethnic division, the, the tribal discrimination, should I say, and uh, religious discrimination between and amongst Nigerians. And uh, you see uh, insurgency group like the Boko Haram, and so to speak. Uh, can we say that uh, Nigeria still has the attribute, or should I say the record charisma, to be called the Big Brother of Africa in that respect? Uh, I think, well, I think um, Nigeria is, is, like, is like the giant of Africa. Okay. And uh, Nigeria has all what it takes. Mm. It has all what it takes uh, to remain as such. Mm. But uh, because, uh, you know, if, you know, there's this uh, saying that united we stand mm. and divided we fall. Mm. So uh, it's the division mm. that is causing a lot of problem mm. that we're having in the country right away. Mm. And uh, all these um, uh, destructions of lives everywhere is due to division, mm -hmm. scarcity mentality. Mm -hmm. If I can't get it all, I will not allow others to get it. Mm -hmm. and that is what is causing the problem we are having in the country right away. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, also uh, child training is also very important. Mm -hmm. And that's why the Bible says train up a child in the way that it should go. Mm -hmm that when it's old, it will not depart from it. Mm. If, if a child is not trained properly, mm. that child will, dis will destroy the society. Mm. If a child is not properly trained, it, 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 it say train up a child. But, but when you go, go training down the child, mm. if a child is trained down, mm. And the child is now a characteristics of evil influence, bad influence, cortism, and you know, robbery. What you get at the end of the day, these are the people that will now come and rule us. Mm -hmm. And when the bad children are in power, mm -hmm. then you guess what is going to happen. Mm -hmm. So it is because we are not united 
united in its real sense. If we are united in its real sense, I think Nigeria will maintain a giant of Africa and the Boko Haram thing, you know. And I just want to see there's a there is also a political undertone. Okay into it as well yeah mm. police can undertone into it as well out of that when you see a political undertone are you seeing that there are some big hands in support of this insurgency group um, well i think um, you know even the hess men mm. the hess men yeah. killing people here, here, here and there mm. the hess men will be killing people mm. no arrests mm. the boko haram will be killing people no arrests mm. But let let a single fellow that has no uh, bearing mm. commit a crime. Mm. That person will be arrested. Mm. So yes. that is the that is the division we're talking about. Mm. And until we, we unite together mm. as a one strong nation, mm. work together, mm. think things we continue to get uh, the ugly face. But I, but I know God is in control because Nigeria is God's own country, mm. and the Lord has been the Lord has been helping us, mm. and I think very soon we will, we will get over all, all these issues, mm. and Nigeria will become a strong nation again. Amen. It's just for us to put our ass together, fight the issues together, stand stand as a strong force, mm. and we will get back to where we ought. Be. That's beautiful. Like, that's a great nation. That's beautiful. Yeah, uh, sometimes yeah, it's a great back, nation. Yeah, sometimes back in 1963, uh, by then somebody like you was alive, uh, and not, not a media heart, but uh, history has a word of all keeping records for people like us to see. You have uh, yes. 32 heads of state that, uh, and government that sat in the Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, the likes of all, uh, uh, the Kwame Nkrumah of all Ghana, the Molly Mujirios Kambaragi, and the of all. Uh, Tanzania and multiple African heads of state and spoke about the need for the unism of this continent. Too many years after that, do you yes. think? We've, do you think too many years after that, the current generation of Africans have done? Oh, sorry for that interruption. Do you think the current generation of Africans have done well to catalyze that existing peace that uh, these heads of states and government had years back? Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead, sir. Yes, I think. We need to go back to yeah. I think we need to go back to to the discussion table mm. and go back to what was discussed mm. and to also see how we can come together. African can stand as a strong force, mm. and uh, even at our own little end, mm. we are we are propelling Africa as a strong force. Mm. We went to in UK this the month of in this very month, mm. uh, the twelfth of this month. Mm -hmm. We were the only school from Africa, mm -hmm. the only school from Nigeria. Mm -hmm. In fact, when we discovered that we have to take take out Nigeria mentality, mm -hmm. we're standing as African nation, mm -hmm. so Africa, so we as African country. So mm -hmm. yeah, what we want mm -hmm. was the dedicated to Africa, mm -hmm. and then before we talk about Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I think if we can, you know, take uh, I mean, a leap from that, we should all see ourselves as one. Mm. Africa is our motherland. Africa, that was why, you know, when my dad went to Liberia, mm. he was fighting for Africa. Yes. Fighting for Africa when there was no peace. Mm -hmm. yeah, a, a Nigerian soldier. Mm -hmm. And it was fighting, and it was because of the Liberian war, he could not, um, uh, he could not stand it. And then, uh, before sometimes, uh, you know, he went to the grave beyond. But so I was happy that he fought for peace. Yeah. Yes, I was happy that he fought for he fought in for an African for an African issue. Mm. So if we all can imbibe that same original mentality mm. that we are one. Mm. That we can come together as a strong force mm. i think africa will become an an invincible entity mm. an indestructible um, 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 uh, continent mm. that nobody can come mm. but i think it's because we are not together mm. there's division here and there mm. that is why we are seeing um, the, uh, the the virus mm. coming in mm. if we're able to stand as one mm. <laughs> the 
virus will not be in. And you see the South African cases and Nigerian cases increasing on a, on a basis. But God will help us. That unity is not there. But we are praying that God will unite us again. Yeah. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Just in case you just join our social media page, this is the voice of Dr. Olale Kompash, all the way here from Nigeria. He's a walking encyclopedia, as I refer to him. He's a fountain of knowledge. This is an opportunity for you to uh, get on our Facebook page on uh, CBS VIP Magazine, VIP TV, so that you can have an opportunity to have a live interview as I speak with you all the way here in Nigeria. Quickly, sir, uh, when you look at our continent right now, uh, uh, yeah. You see that our women are living behind okay. so much. Any society that uh, uh, leaves her ladies behind, her females behind, she's bound to suffer. In the area of education, my own Liberia is struggling with all, almost third to two percent of our females are behind. I cannot even write their name, so to speak. Um, to what extent can a female education or female educated person uh, catalyze the development or the success of a nation? Uh, well, I think uh, female education in the in this twenty first century is key, very very important, and uh, because in this twenty first century there is, there is there should be equality equality of power when it comes to to gender. There should not be there should not be any gender differences. There, there should be equality. And that's what the UN mm. is preaching. Mm. That's what other top nations are also preaching, mm. equality. Mm. And that's what, if we look at it in Nigeria today, we find many women coming up to, um, to the position of power. Mm. You find women mm. coming up. Like, like, and like if you look at it, Yes, you find women taking their place, you know, and um, resolving issues here and there, locally, nationally, and internationally. Mm. There's one thing I want to talk about women. Mm. As a woman, mm. if you look at from the fa family structure, mm. you, you will agree with me that uh, the husband is the head, mm. while the wife is the heart. Mm. And the heart is different from the head. Mm. The heart. The heart is where you have, you know, um, you know, the caring. The heart care for all, every member of the body. Mm -hmm. So, if you want a caring leader, mm -hmm. I think we need a woman. Mm -hmm. If you want a caring administrator, mm -hmm. we need a woman. Mm -hmm. Like in my school where I work presently, mm -hmm. we have five, five different principles mm -hmm. in my school. Okay, and as I speak. Yeah, as I speak, I'm the only I'm the only male principal. Hmm. Wow. Other principal, pure principal. Hmm. So, and we work together, hmm. we work together to you know propel the school to the next to to, to, to the next level. Hmm. And these people, if we look at these women, they, they have insight. Hmm. There are some things I can do. Hmm. They they can do. Mm -hmm. uh, they have strengths in some areas. These women can bring people that you cannot imagine mm. that will propel the name of the school. Mm. So everybody has his own his own stake mm. and areas of strength. Mm. So women education, uh, you know, the African continent should look into that again mm. and see how women can be encouraged mm. to go to school. Women can be encouraged to take position of office because when you have the heart in place. Mm. I think uh, the caring aspect of the people under them mm. will be taken care of. Okay, so, so uh, we need yes. we need not, we need more of that. Not yeah. to, not to interrupt you, sir. Using knowledge by deduction, are you suggesting one for the hymn of politics in Nigeria? Are you suggesting a female career for yes. the hymn of politics in Nigeria currently? Yes, yes, yes. That's the voice of yes, Dr. Bernard Olale all the way there from the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He's emphasizing the importance of a female education for this continent of Africa. Sir, if you were given an opportunity this morning to speak to all the African leaders, uh, what yes. would you emphasize to them? Well, um, the f um, uh, using political platform mm. to drive the development of the nation, mm. I think, has failed mm. us. 
Mm. So I think our leaders need our leaders be ex expert driven. Mm. Our leaders mm. should be expert driven. Mm. For example, in in uh, you know in South Africa, mm. uh, I think the the president uh, you know appointed a Nigerian, mm -hmm. I think to lead to lead the economic recession team. Mm. That is an expert driven initiative. Mm -hmm. So people that knows what to do should be you don't put a a a, a spear uh, peg in in a round hole. hole no it can fit it can enter at all it cannot work mm. yeah yes and that's what we have to today mm. tribalism nepotism mm. you know is who you know that you put in the place of power mm. and you know that's why we have the, the level of corruption in africa today mm. so my message to, to them mm. their governance should be you know expertly driven mm. people who have caught their teeth mm. in various press of industries and various press of governance should be used mm. they should uh, 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 avoid bringing people you know just for for them to occupy the seats mm. and at the end of the day mm. there's no productivity so the governor should be expertly killed. Dr. Bahu, just That's listen to him. Very, very He's important. saying that uh, on the continent of Africa, if we expect to reach the yeah. zenith of economic growth, we must be expert driven. That is the kind of message he has for African leaders. Do yeah. not consider the height, do not consider the, uh, the background, the uh, social status. Just ensure that the person has the professional and academic expertise to bring some element of plus to the system. Expert driven. That's how he put it. Uh, he is uh, on the campus of the CMBS VIP Magazine. Yeah. VIP TV, and I remain Tony Mikhail Howard, who is tasked with this responsibility of inspiring you, young people, in actualizing your respective dreams. Uh, quickly, I come to you. Uh, you are a teacher, you are a leader, and uh, you come from a very super country, and uh, which has affected the rest of uh, the continent by extension, the rest of the world, because you have uh, Nigerians are the most educated uh, uh, foreigners in the United States of America, and uh, that's just among all of yes. the multiple other things they've done now. Uh, 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 how can the rest of Africa, Africa replicate this uh, 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 zest and quest for higher heights that Nigerians have? Because it's, it's so unique to them. Every capacity Nigerians are there, if it is medical science, if it is teaching, whatever discipline they are there. What do you think the rest of Africa, like the smaller nations, the Freetown, Syria, the Mama, Liberia, the Gambia, Guinea-Bissau, and the Kivet Island, Mauritius, can do to replicate this success-driven mentality that Nigerians have? Yes, I think uh, the first thing is for them to understand the power of education and that education is power. If you are looking for power, <laughs> anywhere you find yourself, education will give you that power. And um, when once they are able to understand that education is power and education is an investment platform. You invest for the future. Mm -hmm. It's an investment. For investment for your community. It's, a, it's an investment, you know, for the society you come from. Mm -hmm. It's an investment for your state. Mm -hmm. It's an investment for your nation. Mm -hmm. And when once you know that, and it's an investment that is sure mm -hmm. to bring its reward. Mm -hmm. When you invest, mm -hmm. then you tend to get the reward back. Mm -hmm. So when you any money you spend on education, mm -hmm. be sure you get the reward. There's a return on investment. Mm -hmm. And when once you have that, or once you have that power, mm -hmm. you can never remain the same. Mm -hmm. Your life status cannot remain the same. Mm -hmm. Your life as a person cannot remain the same. Mm -hmm. You keep on moving from one level to the other. Mm -hmm. And you know, because of where the world is going. Mm -hmm. Well, well, where the world is going, you want to change this around, you want to, you know, be in control, then education is very, very important because education transforms life. If you have education, you be transformed. And because of that transformation, because if you are not transformed, you remain reformed, you remain deformed. And for you not to be deformed, you want to be transformed then you take education uh, very seriously. And as you do that, then you'll be moving, your family, moving the state, 
a nation forward. And God has blessed Nigeria. He's blessed, especially in the western part. Mm. Because we we don't have anything. Mm. It's education we focus on. Mm. Everybody in the west, they'll tell you education comes from the west. Mm. And, uh, and that, that was what propelled me to go for my a, 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 a PhD degree in Ado Ekiti. Mm. What Ekiti is it? Um, the, the smallest of family. Mm. We have like three to four professors. Mm. A family of six. Mm. You have four professors. Mm. We have two doctors. Mm. Family of six. Mm. And that is, that, that is what you find. So I just, okay, this will propel me too. I, I will not just remain as a, you know, as a doctor, I want to become a professor as well. Mm. And by God's help, me, I, I should be attaining the, the, the level of an associate professor by God's grace. Mm. Then we keep on moving mm. and transforming people. Trans- we, we also, as we are going up, mm. we have mis- the training, mm. transforming them as well, mm. transforming their life because they are, they are the one when we leave. Mm that will change the look of things. Mm. So we need to transform them. Mm. That is the essence of education. Mm. And why you see more, more people fighting for this current education? Because the old form of education is outdated. Mm. It is archaic mm. and anachronistic. Mm. You know, it is in the in the in the eighties, yeah. in the seventies. Yeah, like the lecturing method. Age, so to speak. Yes, mm. it's outdated mm. as we speak. Mm. This time around, mm. so we are talking about the differentiation method now, mm. the discussion method. Mm. We're talking about the activities-based method. Mm. Talking about collaboration. Mm. How do you learn with a with a foreign school? Mm. Learning with you at the same time, mm. like skyping, mm. you know, internet, um, um, uh, emailing, and all. That is what conferencing. Mm-hmm. That is what education is turning into now. Mm. That if you are not in, in the UK, mm-hmm. you can learn what is going on there, mm-hmm. here in Nigeria. Mm-hmm. So for us to now get everybody to be in tune mm-hmm. with what the 21st century in is preaching, mm-hmm. then there's need for everybody to be re-educated mm-hmm. so that they can forget their formal method, their cake method. Mm-hmm. We don't go lecturing. Lecturing is outdated. Mm-hmm. So because, and that is the problem we are having in the world today, mm-hmm. especially in Africa, mm-hmm. because African children are solving, mm-hmm. so they can't solve any problem on their own. Mm-hmm. African youth are not educated mm-hmm. on c- critical thinking, mm-hmm. so they can't think right. Mm-hmm. So the education of the 21st century mm-hmm. is trying to make sure that children can imbibe the skills. Mm-hmm of creativity, imbibe the skills of critical thinking, imbibe the skills of problem solving. They can solve problems on their own mm. without consulting anybody. Mm. That is where education is taking us to now. Yes. So if anybody is not in tune with the current status of education, mm. I think they, they will be struggling. Mm. And that is why I'm also calling on to the government. Mm. The government need to, to do something to imbibe the 24 uh, uh, century learning approach that, that, that should provide internet in schools, interactive board in schools, mm. uh, schools, you know, schools should be, there, there should be e-learning. Mm. There should be e-learning in schools. Okay. Uh, gone, gone are those days where, you know, students just write notes, write notes, mm. exercise books everywhere. Mm-hmm. Sure, but this everywhere. time, we are talking about about yes, talk everywhere and just messing up the environment. Yeah. This time around, there's nothing like that. Uh, uh, you know, the iPad, mm-hmm. the tablet, mm-hmm. and you no, know, and all, all that. So, and they learn. They spoil. They can learn with their peers. I uh, you know, you know, abroad. Mm-hmm. I live in a school, mm-hmm. partner school, like a like a school in Gambia. Yeah. So you have a partner school in Nigeria. Yeah. Uh, uh, a school in Liberia, and that. Yes, yes, go yes. Go on, go on, and that will help them, yeah. help them to grow, yeah, and to be in tune with what is expected, what is expected, and the and the development goal 
two were suspected, like the, the like the, the project that we the UK is how to solve you know the problem of of um, uh, wildlife destruction. You know, like um, when human beings take this plastic water, you know, when they take this plastic water, they throw the can, yeah. uh, you know, in the river. Yes, yes, they yes. throw the can in, in the river yeah, and you discover that, yeah. yes, the, the fishes, the sharks, mm. yeah, the sharks, the sharks will now swallow this plastic, uh, the plastic water, mm. thinking they are food. Mm -hmm. And before some time, the shark will die. Mm -hmm. And because the plastic water does does not dissolve, mm -hmm. and before you know, human beings' activity mm -hmm. are destructing or destroying aquatic life. Mm -hmm. So how do we sustain aquatic life? Mm -hmm. This plastic that we talk talking about can be used for something else. Mm -hmm. Creativity mm -hmm. can be used to develop something else, mm -hmm. and that is what we should be training our youth uh, at this very point in time. Mm -hmm. And I pray God. God will help us that everything we need to bring them up to speed with the expectation of this century, the Lord will give our leaders. Amen. That's beautiful. I told you that describing as the fountain of knowledge, a walking encyclopedia, and you see the evidence right now live on CNBS, VIP Magazine, VIP TV. We're going to take leave of you shortly, but before we do so, uh, what have been the reactions of Nigerians during this global saga, uh, what I call uh, the coronavirus in that part of the continent? Well, uh, the coronavirus is a global epidemic. In fact, it's a global pandemic. Yes. And uh, it's, uh, as I speak, as I speak with you this morning, because I'm a researcher, mm -hmm. as I speak with you this morning, it's a global emergency. Mm -hmm. As at this morning, we have the we have a global case of six hundred and. 86,199 cases, and uh, we have a global case of 32,277 deaths, and uh, we have a case of 146,402 recovered, and uh, it's a global, it's a, it's a global emergency, red light as I speak this very morning, mm. and USA affected, Italy affected, China affected, Spain has affected Germany, Iran, France, UK, Swaziland, Netherlands, Belgium, mm. critical, mm. critical. Mm. And as at yesterday, yesterday, mm. the Italian, the Italian minister mm. came out to say that uh, they have lost control, that they cannot deal with it anymore. They are looking up to God mm. to come and deliver. Um, uh, the nation. Mm. This was yesterday afternoon. Mm. And as I speak with you in Nigeria, Nigeria is not left alone. Mm. Nigeria is not left left alone. And the first case in Nigeria was confirmed on the 27th of February 2020. And the rise has been alarming. Mm. As at Sunday, yesterday night, its cases stood at 97. Wow. And in the evening of that same Sunday, mm -hmm. the evening of that same Sunday, confirmed cases stood at one one one, and um, regrettably we we had we had our first fatality case. Mm -hmm. uh, the former employee of the PPMC mm -hmm. who died on the twenty third of March two thousand and twenty. Mm -hmm. As of today. As of today, the COVID-19 has no cure. Mm. Scientists around the world are working very hard to develop a vaccine, mm. but nothing yet. Mm. And uh, and uh, as I speak with you, I'm at home. Mm. I, I was sent away you know, from office last week. Mm. There's a stay-at-home order in Nigeria as I speak with you. Mm. And uh, we pray that the Lord will help us. The government is doing a lot of things. Mm. The government is doing a lot of things to fight this pandemic mm. because the the spread now has gone to 11 states. Mm. We have Lagos State with 68 mm. cases. Mm -hmm. We have the Federal Capital Territory with 21, mm. Ogun State with 3, mm. Enugu with 2, or your state where I live with 7. Mm. 
Bauchi with two, Ekiti with one, Edo with two, Rivers with one, Osun with two, Kaduna with one. Mm. So we are having one, 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 mm. dead one, recovered only three. Then we have 107 active cases as I speak this very morning. Wow. But the government has been trying. Just thank God for the government we have. And the government front, the fight against the virus um, um, is expertly driven. And uh, the director general of the Nigerian Center for Disease Control, that is Dr. Inhekwesu. Oba health leaders mm -hmm. invited by the World Health Organization to visit China mm -hmm. and understudy their response approach. Mm -hmm. And on, the, on his return, mm -hmm. he, he has inaugurated the team mm -hmm. and they have started working immediately. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. We have to also introduce yeah. a, a two step approach. Okay. Yeah. Continue. The government has introduced a two step approach okay. to dealing with the issue. Yes. To dealing with the issue. The first approach is to protect the lives of Nigerians mm. and residents living here, mm. whether they are Nigerians or they are not Nigerians. Mm. And two, to preserve the livelihood mm. of workers mm. and businesses and uh, those that own various businesses mm. to ensure mm. their family get through this difficult time mm. in dignity, hope, and peace of mind. And uh, the federal government has supported legal states mm. with the highest number 68 supported Lagos State with 15 billion to fight and contain the spread. Uh, that's sad. That's, that's, that's uh, very sad for Nigeria yes. right now. And um, other many Nigerians are not left out. Mm. Okay, we have uh, in, individual donors mm. to the relief fund. Mm. We have uh, at Tiku. Abuaka, mm. 50 million. Mm. We have Adus, Samad Rabi, 1 billion. Mm. We have Femi Odetola, 1 billion. Mm. We have Tony Ulumelu, 1 billion. Mm. Abed Wikwe, 1 billion. Mm. Shegu Agbaji, 1 billion. Jim Ovia, 1 billion. Alinku Dangote, 1 billion. Tufis Idibia, 100 million. Fola Shade Alakija, 25, 35 million. Mm. The Euro Latin in 200 million. Mm. Yes, and the corporate organizations too are also assisting. Okay. We have Access Bank, 1 billion, GT Bank, 1 billion, Zenit Bank, 1 billion, NNPC, 1 billion. Mm. Just to curtail this devilish epidemic uh, of a you know, coronavirus. Yes, and, uh, uh, as I speak, we're, we're the president has. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead just before I come in with a question. Yes. You are making a point, sir. Yes. Yes. So, as I speak, the president has uh, created a presidential task force mm -hmm. to develop a workable national response okay. strategy mm -hmm. to that could And the state affected has also recruited 100 of adult staff mm -hmm. to man very call centers mm. and support our tracing and testing efforts. Mm. Uh, the president has requested all the affected states, mm. 11 of them, mm. uh, to nominate doctors and nurses who will be trained mm. by the NCDC mm. and Lagos State government on tactical and operational response mm. to the virus in case it spreads to other states. Mm. Uh, and as I speak, this uh, this money, there's a lockdown. Okay. Lockdown on Lagos State, mm. Federal Capital, the Territory, and Ogo State. Mm. The president announced that yesterday okay. that there's no movement. Okay. Everybody stay at home. Mm. Land border, there's you know, there's a closure on uh, you know land borders. Mm. So stay at home. Mm. Flight movement suspended, mm. and uh, everybody should st stay at home and maintain. Uh, the proper hygiene, mm. hand washing, you know, and uh, if you have any uh, any symptoms, if you are coughing, you cough into your elbow. Mm. Okay, sanitize your hands, you know, for 20 seconds. Make sure you are healthy and hearty. Mm. If you feel any symptoms, 
call a doctor immediately. Okay. Don't don't run away. Mm -hmm. Don't spread it. Mm -hmm. And maintain social distances. Mm -hmm. Churches shut down. Malls shut down. Mm -hmm. Market square shut sure. down. Businesses shut okay. down. Just to make sure, uh, by God's grace, we not get to the case of China, mm -hmm. Italy, and Spain. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, dear. That's beautiful, dear. From our doctor Olale Kompach, all the way there from our yeah. Nigeria. He's been featured on CNBS VIP magazine, VIP TV here in the Gambia on the platform called The Conversation here. I am Tony McKeon. Now, just before we take leave of you, sir, what are your final words for Nigerians by extension Africans, should I say the globalized society at large? What Africa as a continent is that um, the events happening around, mm -hmm. because uh, if you look at the book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 7 mm -hmm. and verse 6, you will discover that the Lord Jesus Christ said in his word mm -hmm. that there shall be famine and pestilences. Mm -hmm. And when the Bible says pestilences, yeah, so it's talking about pestilences, diseases that you cannot attribute names to. Yes. And the coronavirus, these are the things that will happen to indicate that the coming of the Lord is near. Mm. And however, uh, the Bible also says, uh, uh, he told us that we should not be true. Doctor, you are still alive, sir. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay, so I said, I'm, I'm, Bible has pointed us to it, but all these things happen by the signs of the last days, mm. and what we need to do as a continent, mm. we should go back to God mm. and make sure we are close to God. Mm. And if you look at from the statement of the Italian uh, Prime Minister, mm. said they've tried everything, mm. they are looking up to God. Mm. So Africans should look up to God. Mm. Right, it's causing fear right away. Yeah. God, them right away. Mm. But as children of God, mm. we should not be afraid. Okay. Because the Lord has given. To those viewers on social media, we we'll say we apologize for that breaking the communication. We're trying to reconnect with doctors so that. Yes, doctor, you're alive. Your concluding words. Uh, yes. So uh, we should just go back to God that the, the Lord will help us. Okay. We should go back to him and um, get our relationship back on track and with him. The coronavirus come over us because the Bible says, When I see the blood, I will pass over you. Mm. And for Africa, my prayer is the blood will be on Africa. Mm. The blood of Jesus will be on Africa. Amen. But even the, some say it's on the air, that, but I pray this morning. Mm. As the virus sees the blood on Africa, we pass over us in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, thank you and God bless Africa. Yeah. Thank you so very and much. Thank you so very glad much. Glad to thank be so on this platform. Yes. We yes, are right. honored. Thank you, sir. Bless you. Yeah, we are honored and privileged to have a feature yeah. you today on St. Bias. And uh, we're still going to feature some other time in the future just in case the need arises, sir. No problem. That would be my pleasure. Yeah, bye bye. Uh, this is CNBN's VIP Magazine, VIP TV. It has been a nice conversation with Dr. Baj Olalekon all the way here from the Federal Republic of Nigeria where he gave us a deep insight of his educational background and he spoke on leadership as well as uh, uh, governance on the continent of Africa and then he stressed the need to take the coronavirus very seriously and the kind of strategic management skill that uh, the federal government has put in place to ensure that she curtails the spread of the virus. It has been Tony Mikhail Howard on this conversation. Thank you very much if you like follow. Bye bye. <laughs> conversation that comes away on CNBS VIP magazine VIP TV here. Journalist